Good morning Vlogmas, or should I say good afternoon actually, it's uh, 20 past 12. So apologies, I haven't done a video for the last couple of days, that would mainly be key because there was absolutely nothing worth talking to you about. Um, and as I promised right at the beginning of December, I was only going to do Vlogmas when I had some Vlogmas worthy stuff. And today I do. So I'm going to be doing a spot of sewing today in my studio, so let me show you what I'm going to make. So this thread count pattern came free with Love Sewing magazine, I think about 18 months to two years ago. It really appealed to me because they had this lovely dress with all of the wraps across the front and also a top version. And this particular dress is a style that I wear a lot. I find that these ruches are really, really flattering. So I bought some fabric at the Goldhawk Road about a year ago now. It is pretty interesting. It's like a spandexy, thin, lycra-y fabric. Um, it was about 50p a metre, so it was dirt cheap. And I'm going to have a go at sewing this dress up. Now, it's been cut out for as long as I can remember. I just haven't got around to sewing it up. Now, all I'm going to say is this is going to either look stunning or ridiculously trashy. Watch this space. That was a spectacular fail with a capital F. That fabric is vile to work with. Um, it's absolutely fine on the overlocker, but when it comes to the sewing machine, even with a stretch needle, it just breaks the thread, it skips stitches, um, and it just simply won't sew. It's almost plasticized, it's funny stuff. Um, so I've gone back to the drawing board. I have got my kids lady skater pattern which is an old faithful and i have used all of the pattern pieces and managed to chop together a kids lady skater dress so let's see how i go with that instead so i made the skater dress popped it all together but i didn't actually like it so i've chopped the skirt off and what i'm going to do i've put contrast black cuffs on it instead and i'm going to make a band that's going to go along the bottom so it can be like a kind of disco style um sweatshirt stroke baggy top um so we'll see how we go with that but i'm going to leave it for today because i've quite frankly had enough of this fabric and i'm going to carry on with it tomorrow so I'm just waiting for my mum to arrive with the kids, she's picked them up from school and we're heading off to our nearby supermarket to go and have a visit with Supermarket Santa. Now if you watched Vlogmas last year you'll know that we went last year and we go every single year, it's a family tradition. Um, the Romford Lions, um, who my dad and my husband are members of, um, go and collect outside the supermarket with their sleigh and Father Christmas. So we go and see Supermarket Santa every Every single year, um, and we're going to go and say hi now. In a minute. No, go see him. Who's that? Hello. You gonna say hello? Can say hello? Don't be shy. Hello. Hello. Mm. And who's that? And who's that? A dogger, is it? Are you dogger looking forward to Christmas? Oh, you as well. I do like him. I haven't seen one of those before. And his name is Siggy's, and your name is Amy's. Excuse me, what is that? What is that? Who's your bell? Who's your bell? Who's your bell? And how old are you, Who's your bell? Six. You're six, are you? And which one's your mummy out of these two old ladies? <laughs> which one, eh? Hey? Less of the old, thanks, Santa. Oh, exactly. I'm flashing for you to complain to the lions about this, Santa. Who's this lady? Oh, oh, right. That's Grandma. Well, we have a very, very lovely Christmas. He's, he's, what? What is it? You have a lovely Christmas. And you as well, George, have a lovely, lovely time. <laughs> Lovely to see your mummy and your great grandmother with you. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. You have a 
Santa, can you say Merry Vlogmas? Merry Vlogmas. <laughs> Morning all, I never finished recording yesterday's vlog so I've decided I'm going to mash it up with today's and upload it as one video. So it's my day off today, it's Thursday um, and I've just been and got my Christmas nails done. So I'm feeling ready now for Christmas Day. Um, but I've had to come back to the farm shop. The Christmas tree that Izzy and I so carefully picked last week, unfortunately, has died. It has dropped all of its needles, made a really, really, really bad mess of my living room and has been thrown out in the front garden, which means it completely needed to be undecorated and will now need to redecorate another tree. So I've popped back to the farm shop. They've kindly agreed to replace the tree. So let's see what we get. Poor Fred is not looking particularly healthy right now. He seems to have lost most of his body, most of his head anyway. I am the world's worst vlogger. So I got to the farm shop and all of the trees that they had left were far too fat. So I got a nice little refund and came back home. So we are without Christmas trees. So now the big debate is, do I go up in the loft and get the artificial tree? Or do I just make do with my nice garlands and not bother at all? Really, really tempted not to bother. So anyway, the rest of the afternoon was spent doing admin. I had planned on coming into work to do some sewing. I haven't got round to it, but I've just popped in now to set up for tomorrow morning's class and clear up the mess that I left behind yesterday. I'm now nipping to the gym, then I'm going to go home and have some dinner. So that will be Vlogmas for two days. Totally boring, but felt that after three days of nothing I should probably pop on and at least let you know what I'm up to. Um, tomorrow is a really nice festive sewing day at work so there'll be some nice stuff to share with you um, and lots of fun things planned in the run up to Christmas so hopefully we'll get a couple of good vlogs out of Vlogmas. But anyway that's me over and out for now. Bye bye! <laughs>